War Spear. What a name for a knife, huh? Ah, yes, the War Spear. And what's this, a 501? I wrote it down. Yeah, 501T for terrifically inexpensive. That's for sure. Uh, 14C28 and blade. Good size knife, deep carry pocket clip. Yeah, that last little bit might be tough to get over them screws right there all over your pocket lip and such. Uh, full steel liners. It's a liner lock. There's your lock up. And that's 35% if it's anything, I guess. Um, so let's uh, kick it down here. And it's, uh, of course, a uh, front flipper. And it front flips. Isn't that weird? Front flippers that front flip. Who decided to do that? And, you know, I'm kind of staying away a little bit from it because I think she could come around and get you. And, uh, of course, then you got to keep from getting your finger over here because what's got to release is clear back here. So it's not going to drop. Um... So bag it up, kind of point it down a little bit when you release it, and it really drops smooth and easy. We'll take this apart, take a look at it. It's a like I said, it's a good size knife. I don't really have much to compare it with around here. Hold on, my Imperium Civivi. See, it's a bigger knife than that. Not that the Imperium's all that big. Where's my little? bevy here there's my slip joint from cancept yeah so take a look it, 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 she's pretty good size eh, not quite three and three quarter inch blade but really really close at about 90 i don't know i mean you could say 92 you could say 95 somewhere in there eight and a half overall length though at 21 and a half centimeters so it's a good size knife it's a bigger knife than a paramilitary two and uh it's got chimping on the top here way up through here of course you know part of that jimping situation here is just so you got traction kicking this over when you flip it and uh got my, got see got my finger in the way here you know when i was kicking it around so got to beware of that too um you know it's a nice satin grind it's a mark micarta scales on it um look this little pivot surrounding g10 it's uh green backspacer is black g10 uh, looks like it's skeletonized liners. Uh, the fit and the finish seem pretty reasonable. And so does the price. And that's what, I mean, White Mountain Knives started carrying these. And I, I didn't know anything about them. I saw them on there. And I got a few of them. So I'm going to do a couple of more uh, models of this on my channel. Uh, but like it says here, 501T, 3850 and so you use LTK as a discount code for 10% off. So another $3.80. So what are you, 34 something in there? Uh, delivered, because they have free shipping and they don't charge tax right now. So that's damn near Ganzo pricing, isn't it? Um, and 8.6, yeah, 3.6 inch blade, mm, yeah. Nothing did it. Uh, let me see if it says anything on the same. Yeah, my card uh, tip up. Well, 7.8 ounces. Oh, that's interesting. Let's let's see if that's really for real and for true. I don't. It don't feel like eight ounces. It don't feel like 7.8. So I'm gonna say this is. Oops. I'm gonna say this is under six. Or at six, no more than six. 112. Why did they say that? This is 3.95 ounces. They did say that, didn't they? Yeah, 
eight ounces. So don't let that fool you. You go, oh man, that's too heavy. I'm not gonna order that, that's insane. And then it ends up being 3.95 ounces. So yeah, I mean, it, it does not feel that heavy. And that's pretty amazing considering it's pretty good size Haas. Um, well, let me grab my calipers. Maybe this blade stock's only three or something. Nah, that's more than three millimeters, 0.12. Nah, not much more than three. Yeah, 3.3. Let's go with that. I was going to say 3.5, but not 3. 15.2 millimeters. That's 6 tenths of an inch. So this is contoured, as you can see. But, you know, it is... That's that's pretty thick. I mean, a lot of knives... Oh, where's my Imperium again? You know, I mean, uh, that's 0.51, and that's all that too you know 13 and a lot of a lot of knives are 0.5 yeah the the paramilitary 2 is a 0.46 so this is this is pretty wide glide and how they got this under four ounces that's pretty amazing actually and then the price I, you know i mean you could just have this as a you know beater ass knife and on top of that, it's a hell of a fun little fidget factor. And if you've never really practiced much with front flippers, the good thing about this one, as opposed to some of them like the Real Steel Metamorph, I, I like the Metamorph, but it's thinner here. It's a little tougher to really get your paws on while you're doing this because you gotta you know see what i got you gotta get a grip on there because when you're gonna flip that you, you know a normal knife with a flipper you got your thumb on the front you got grip on both sides and you're pulling that tab here you got to give it up in the front there's nothing other than you know this part of your palm trying to do that so you got to have a little bit more substantial height in the handle, I think, to really make it easy. And this is really easy. And you know what? The detent's not that strong. Ooh. Uh, okay. <laughs> as, I, as my shoulder tries to recover. Uh, okay. I mean, it doesn't feel that strong. But, I mean, that little demonstration says it's not weak. Um, but really, to me, this feels like about a 4.5 at best on my detent scale. So, um, but, you know, you've got a lot of tab hanging out here. And this jimping, it makes it really easy to, you know, and so it overcomes that feeling of detent because you got so much out here. And you know what? I can't remember, but I think you could wave this out your pocket. You know, as you're pulling it out of your pocket, that goes up against the back lip of your pocket as you're pulling it out. Kind of like an Emerson wave thing. Um, and you know, I can't guarantee that right now because it's been a while since I carried this one, but yeah, I, I don't see why you couldn't, actually. And especially with that jimping there to kind of catch that back edge of your pocket. Whoa, I got you loosened, didn't I? Damn, as you pull it out. But yeah, so a lanyard hole. And it's tubed through that backspacer, so that's good. I'm kind of glad they put a backspacer in here. I, I think that really helps. Now, ergos, what do you think? I mean, there's just nothing there, right? That's just easy. That's easy. And reverse grip is too, okay? There's plenty of room for your hand, almost all size hands on here. So that's not a problem. And you got a nice big old flat grind. Oh, come here. Yeah, give me a piece of paper if I got one over here. Okay. 
I spent a while cleaning this blade off because yeah, I, I've been using it so, and but I haven't, I haven't tuned it up or done anything since I got it. So this is, you know, this is factory here, and it's it's good, it's sharp. So made a big pile of crap here, but yeah, I mean, good size. Uh, it's 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 you know, if you want something that's kind of gent carry or more no no that's not that this is okay this is not as tall this is not as wide so this would be better but this now nah, this is a little bit more big in the hand and but i mean you got good purchase on it as well and Check out the micarta, you know, it's got that little bit of fade to it here, you know, weathered kind of look. Oh, oh, one of the things I really wanted to talk about also is with this uh, box, check it out. I mean, this is the way I got it. So the box here and, you know, there is a God, isn't there? I mean, I'll tell you what, how many boxes God, I don't have my real steel box around here, do I? Shit, no. Okay. But, you know, like the silver real steel box, it goes across here. I mean, there's no cutaway here. And I know that that's making a big damn deal about nothing, but you know how easy it is to do this when they give you that cutaway? Bang, oh, dude. Um, okay. So, microfiber cloth, which says War Spear on it, which is kind of a cool name. I mean, if you're going to name something, I mean, do it that'll appeal to the guys. And um, these came in here. So you got a number six and a number eight. I like these little suckers. Hold on. I always keep a few around. They're good to throw in your pocket and just take with you. Um, it's good if your knife is all number eights and all you have to do is bring a single number eight with you. And I know there's a lot of little portable suckers. And i got one around here somewhere too. So, you know. But um, they're handy. And you get another pocket clip, deep carry. You got screws. And see this? Look at that little surround there. So you can change it to an orange surround if you want, if you'd rather have that, which is kind of strange. Is I don't think it's that big a damn deal. But And then there's extra screws. But just remember, we're talking about under $35 after discount. You know what I mean? And the, it's a fitted box. I mean, it's a structural box, too. So, I mean, the knife goes in there. And you get a microfiber cloth. Oh, hold on. Let me see what we got here. And all their social media crap. And then, um, yeah. Okay, so nothing big there. Okay. Um, but... Yeah, I um, strange, you know, it's solid, and uh, I mean, I don't want to spend that much time on packaging necessarily, but there's lots of pieces, parts in there. I mean, who gives you that? I mean, I, I know $300, $400 knives, you don't get that, so, um, and I know some three or $400 knives where it doesn't drop like that. Um, you know, so that's, that's kind of cool. They have some different models too. I, I did uh, a thing about War Spear on my Trader's Corner for, it, it wasn't, it may have been May or it could have been April, either April or May 2021. I did, I put all the models out there so you can look back there and, but I'm going to do one at a time here as well. So. Uh, this may not be your cup of tea. This is kind of my favorite of the group, but I think a lot of people are really going to be drawn uh, to this one here. And let me get over. This one's the 502. See that? That's my card of two. Maybe a little bit more interesting for you. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, but they've got a couple others too. So let's, let's see uh, what what the guts are like in, uh, hold on, let me get a balance. Okay, there's a balance. So yeah, let's do a disassembly, see what we got in here. 
make sure my KPL's out here on, oh yeah, you know what? I always end up having to do this one-handed because I, I forgot to open the bottle when I reassemble. Okay, so let me get my, my stuff out here. I'm not gonna use those tools, although you could. I mean, here's the equivalent, right? Right here. So if you had to use the tools, and these are not bad. I mean, this little tab here kind of gives you, you know, some, some leverage, but uh, there goes the, the pivot screw. I mean, if we're gonna do it that way. And then here's the number six. And that's all on the presentation side. Kind of interesting. Although, see on the back side? Yeah, it's octagonal, so that's not going to turn. So that's kind of a good way, and this isn't the only knife where it's been like that, but uh, I think that's still pretty sharp to do it that way. Um, that way, you don't need a D-shaped pivot necessarily. See what I'm saying? Hmm. Okay, so this is presentation side, and there's the underside. See, now, I kind of would like the outside micarta to be like that. You know what I mean? It's not going to be as grippy, but it's a more uniform in color. So, I, I kind of like that. Okay. <clears throat> We're skeletonized, folks. I mean, and you know what? Nothing sharp. No sharp edges there. So, that's that's good. And okay, no ceramic bearings, woe is me and all that, but no, it's not a big, huge deal to me. So that, that, they fell right out. Okay, let me see where this internal blade stop thing, and is it, well, it, yeah, okay, so you see the knurling on there. Whoa, 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 baby. Whoa, honey. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Oh, well. Uh, blade. And then back. Well, we didn't pull the pocket clip or anything, which is rolling right into the uh, into the uh, liner. So, and there's your back spacer, etc. Your track. And that does look like a ceramic detent ball. Oh, that's kind of interesting. What's that going on there? But it's not a affecting lock up but okay all right so uh, this is it folks um, no real big deal there let me uh, load this in from the back side I guess and yeah that's that, that works nice some bearings uh, it really had nice action so I don't know if we can really improve anything probably not just uh, reassemble. And here's this. And uh, our bearings. And uh, then we'll put the front liner in. It won't be much to have to do this. And we fit right over there. Good as gold. Next. Dip, dip. Okay. And, well, hell with it then. Get the screw locked down there, and then we'll put this little surround here. Well, come on with your badass, okay? And, uh, wow, we're throwing things around. Come here. Ooh. Magnetized. Okay. So we're back in. Uh, action seems about the same. It's centered. Do we have any play? No. Being careful. Uh, it doesn't have the guillotine-ish that it has before so you can you can decide on that this might be a little safer for you to keep you from having that thing swing around and cut you 
See what I'm saying? All right. Got the war spear back. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit uh, less guillotine-ish. But if you want, you can just loosen that screw just a, about an eighth of a turn or so. And that, that'll drop like it did at first. But this is, uh, this is safer, I think. <laughs> and this being a front flipper and nothing to really catch you until it comes and gets you. All right, I'll leave you to it. I mean, I, this interesting line of knives, I don't know much more about them than this, so they are what they are. But I think they're, you know, they should be maybe something you consider trying out for a budget uh, carry because they're nice with micarta, nice liners, the fit and finish, uh, the action's nice, uh, and nice grind on them. Should be a good user steel for 14C, all that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I do like them. I do like them. Subscribe to my channel if you would. And you know what we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.